Huh? Why does our voice echo on hills? Have you ever stood huh? on a hill, shouted your name, and heard it <laughs> bounce back to you? Hello? Huh? Hello? Hmm. That's called an echo. But why does it happen? Let's explore the science behind this fun sound trick. Hmm. Huh? An echo is a sound that bounces back to you after hitting a surface. Imagine throwing a ball against a wall. It bounces back, right? <laughs> hmm. Sound waves work the same way. When you shout, hello, your voice travels through the air as sound waves. If these waves hit a big, hard surface like a mountain or a wall, they bounce back and you hear, hello, your <laughs> own voice again. Hmm. Not all places create echoes. Hills, mountains, and cliffs are great for echoes because they are large and hard. Soft surfaces, Hello? like grass or blankets, absorb huh? sound, but hard surfaces reflect it. That's why, when you yell on a Hello? hill or near a canyon, the sound bounces off and returns to your Hello? ears. <laughs> Here's a simple way to understand how an echo works. You shout, Hello! Your voice travels as sound waves through the air. These waves hit a hard surface like a mountain. <laughs> the sound waves bounce back toward you. You hear your Hello? voice again after a short delay. Hello? The farther away the surface is, the longer it takes for the echo to come back. Hello? <laughs> That's why some echoes return quickly while others take a few <laughs> seconds. Hmm. Sound travels in waves, just like ripples in a pond when you throw a rock into the water. These waves move through the air until they hit something. If the object is smooth and hard, like a cliff or a cave wall, the sound bounces back. If the object is rough or soft, like a tree or a pillow, the sound gets absorbed and doesn't return. Hmm. Even though we make sounds Hello? all the time, we don't always hear echoes. Hmm. That's because echoes need a big, solid surface to bounce off of. A quiet place where other noises don't interfere. Enough distance for the sound to travel and return. That's why you don't hear an echo inside your house. Hello? The walls are too huh? close. And the furniture Hello? absorbs the sound. Hmm. Try these fun activities. Find a big open space with a wall, <laughs> cliff, or mountain. Shout your name and Hello? listen carefully for it to come Hello? back. <laughs> hmm. Use your hands. <laughs> Clap your hands loudly near a large building and see if you can hear the sound bounce back. Hmm. Try different surfaces. Yell near a tree, a rock, or a cave entrance. Hello? Hello? Do you Hello? hear an echo? Cool echo facts. Some echoes Hello? happen so fast Hello? that you can't tell they bounced back. Hmm. The longest recorded echo lasted 112 seconds Hello? in an underground oil tank in Scotland. Hmm. Bats use echoes to see Hello? in the dark. They make sounds and listen for the echoes to Hello? find their way. Large concert halls are Hello? designed to prevent echoes so that sound doesn't get too messy. Hmm. Echoes are one of nature's coolest tricks. They happen when sound waves bounce off big, hard surfaces like mountains, cliffs, or caves. Next time you're on a hill, try shouting and listening for your voice to come back. Hello? Hello? It's <laughs> science in action. Hmm. So, the next time you hear an echo, you'll know exactly how it works. Hmm. Now, go outside and give it a try. Hello?